Today's state track meets, of course, being brought to you by Mackey Motors in Lake City. Find new roads at Mackey Motors in Lake City. We're talking about the Audubon Boys 4x100 relay team here. We'll start off with Jackson Jensen, who got things underway today. How'd you feel coming out of the blocks today? Uh, I actually felt really good coming out of the blocks. I thought I got out pretty quick. My main goal was to try to catch that kid in front of me in lane 8, which I thought I did pretty well. Uh, coming into me and Tate's handoff, it was a little shaky. I kind of ran up on him a little bit, but otherwise that, I think I ran a pretty good race. Adrenaline just gets you going that you may be going a little faster than normal here yeah. today? The atmosphere down here is just amazing. I mean, uh, all day we've been running our best times, so I mean, it's pretty great. What's it like to run down here? What's this feeling like to be? You just said it's kind of amazing, but kind of explain that a little bit. Well, the biggest track meet we go to is probably our district track meet, and there's probably not even an eighth of the amount of people that are here. So just all that people, all the amazing athletes that run such the, the just such the great times. It's just so fun being down here and competing with everyone. I tell you, what's it like for you to be able to be down here, uh, having been injured for part of the year, but then able to find your way down here? Uh, it's really great. I mean, uh, with, without the help of my teammates, I don't think I would be here. I mean, they really helped me push through the season. Even though I did miss a few track meets, I mean, I really thank them the most. Well, I tell you what, congratulations. Glad I could catch up with you here today. Thank you. You bet. Let's move over now to Tate Kalina at that second leg here today. Uh, Jackson, you said your guys' handoff not the best. How did you recover from that? I just tried to catch the kid in, out in lane eight and touch the canter, like he said. But I mean, I didn't think it was too bad. But he usually always lean up on me when we were here last year for our sprint men and distance event. But it's, try, it's kind of hard to just remember to do everything the correct way when everyone's got their eyes on you. But I mean, I think we executed pretty well considering. We didn't remember everything, I guess. So how well did you feel like you ran today? I thought I ran my best, but I have no idea, considering I haven't seen my time yet. But, I mean, the adrenaline got me for sure. Yeah, I mean, 13,000 close to that. It, it got me through it. So senior year, what's it like to be down here today? Uh, it was my dream to end it down here uh, since freshman year, because I was thinking about not doing it my freshman year. But, I mean, I stuck with it. I'm glad I did, for sure, being down here twice. But, yeah, it's been everything that I could have dreamed of. So with that, any advice for other kids that are maybe thinking about not doing it? Stick with it for sure. Uh, just work your butt off every single day. Everything will fall into place. I know the hard work that goes into it, but you just got to work your butt off every single day. Well, I tell you what, great job, man. Good talking to you again. Thank you. You bet. Let's move over to Skyler Schultz, who had that third leg here today. Skyler, how did you feel like the handoff with Tate went? I mean, it went pretty well. I felt like I got out pretty good, and I didn't feel like he ran up on me that much. And I just, he said, reach, and I stuck my hand back. And then next thing you know, Don's in my hand. So it was really smooth. I felt like it's one of the better ones we've had all year. So did you get off to a good start then? Yeah, I felt like I was off to a good start. I couldn't see anybody on the inside of me, but I knew those guys were fast, and they, they would come up eventually. And then I just saw them out of the corner of my eye come up and kind of go past me. And I knew I just had to keep up with them and get it to lane. How do you like running that curve? I mean, it's fun. Usually, every time I've been down here, I've always been on the home stretch. Just <laughs> shuttle, 110 highs, long jump, always been in the home on the home stretch. So running somewhere else is kind of neat, and it's a really fun experience. How'd you adapt to it? I mean, you just got to lean into the curve and let your momentum keep carry you. So it's just all about technique and running hard. So you've been down here quite a bit here. Uh, what are you taking away from this? I mean, just like the guys in front of me said, the atmosphere, nothing really compares to it. And you just, you want to soak it all in. You want to be here as long as possible just because, you know, once it's gone, you're going to have to wait a whole nother year to even have a chance to get back here, let alone make it. Well, I tell you what, Scott, I appreciate you joining us. Thanks for everything today. Let's move over now to Lane Lawson, who ran that anchor leg. Handoff with Skyler go pretty well? Yeah, I did. Uh, I felt Skyler uh, kind of running up on me there towards the end, but uh, I knew we were going to have to keep up with them boy big boys down out there at the end. So uh, we ended up doing that. We got a pretty good time in, so I'm happy with that. So all you guys kind of ran up on each other on the handouts today. Just the adrenaline and the excitement of being here, or is that what it is, you think? Yeah, uh, as we all talked before, adrenaline's running high. We all felt good. And uh, just kind of being out here, you always got that extra oomph with you. It was something that really kind of kicked in the handoffs. And uh, I think that made a little bit of a difference, but uh, I was overall happy with how we performed. you got to run down the straightaway here with all the people cheering and yelling because they love to do that. What's that like? Oh, uh, that's awesome, man. I just, I, it gets my nerves tingling a little bit. So uh, that's something kind of fun to end my career on right there. So uh, just having that little moment there is, is pretty exciting. How proud are you to be down here as a senior? That's got to feel pretty good. It feels really good kind of in my uh, whole high school career overall down here at State. Uh, something I look forward to and uh, definitely something that I'll always carry with me along the way. And uh, it, it was an honor. It was a blessing. Do you have a favorite memory or anything from being down here? 
Uh, definitely just kind of hanging out with the buddies here. Uh, we got a really close relationship with this group here, so uh, we've always been close and we've been together since before I can remember. So it's just been fun and got, getting to know these guys even more than I already do, sometimes better than others, but uh, it's fun. Definitely memories for sure. Well, I tell you what, congratulations on a great career. Appreciate you joining us. Thank you.